mixed doubles with Tyson McGuffin upsetting the two seed Anna Bright and James Ignatowicz. So a lot of players coming in here confident. Jackie Kawamoto gets it started. Let's play pickleball. You want unstructured firefight? Well, there you go, Sam. I love it. And I love watching Lacey Schneeman play. She's she's small, she's compact, but I feel like she has so much power. Yes, one of the best athletes on tour by far. She gets a lob, she gets off the ground, and has a lively right arm. Beautiful dink in the middle, and Paris is lucky to just catch the outside of the line. There's Lacey Schneeman. Was a pole vaulter, Sam, in middle school. That's how athletic she is. And I love seeing the non-racket sport athletes coming over to pickleball. Yes, how great is that? I said, tell me about something you've done in your past, pole vaulter. Like, that is amazing. Couldn't get me to try that. No, that's why you can just step over. Out. Just out. The other thing I like to see with the new teams, do they play straight up? Do they play a side? So Schneeman and Kawamoto to start where they're going to just straight up. The Kawamoto sisters, we've got Jackie here. We saw Jade earlier on the bench. They're so solid when you yes. watch them play. They're not the most flashy players, but you know, you can trust them to do their job wherever they are in the court. Yeah, and they've been adding offense, so they're not just this wall over there. They can hurt you, and that's when they really up their level into the top echelon of the ladies on tour. Defense just couldn't get it to bounce. And a great eye from Leah Jansen letting that yeah. one go wide. It was only wide by a few inches, but great D from Lacey Schneeman, like you said. Fires away with the two. He threw the middle. And Leah was on that. If that went over, Lacey could have got caught in the kitchen still. Immediate chance to give Paris a try on the left here. Great return. And that is a matchup that Paris would love to be in all day long. If the ball bounces on that backhand side, that's good news. She's steady as can be on that side. She's fine staying over there. If you want to hit 50 in a row, no problem. Just push wide from Schneeman there, so. All tied up here. <laughs> That almost hit Paris as she flew by. That was nuts. You know, if you if you time that correctly, it's tough for the opponent yes. to see the ball if you get in the way. But you're right, that almost, that Jansen almost took out her own partner. Boy, great job of Leia being on that cross-court attack. She kind of did a semi-Scorpio yes. there. Got down. 50% of the way, but you're right. Excellent job of anticipating, getting down low, putting it away. I yeah, just can't get the ball on the ground, and you will pay every time with Leia.
Wow, that stays in. A crazy overhead. Oh, no, and after all that, Sam, come on, we were cheated. Right, exactly. That's not how you want it to end. Just for those of you watching, forget that last shot. We had so many other amazing shots and gets prior to that. And Paris is getting dangerously close to Leia every time on the drive. It's almost like they've discussed, Leia, you drive it. Paris is just going right to the middle of the <laughs> yes. court and hoping that the ball comes back to us. They're, they're 0 for 2 on that play so far. Well, that's great pressure from Lacey right there. Just all over. They did a good job of getting back in the point, but Lacey Schneeman too tough. Uh, no disguise with that wind up, Sam. Not at all. And even in pickleball, when you're, you're so close there, you could know a ball's being sped up at you. It's still tough to react and make a play on it. Paris falls off that with a great deep return. So 3-2 early for Todd and Jansen, first-time partners as the nine seed. Fourth of July with the ball off the tape there, Sam Owen and on. And Paris just didn't need that big of a swing. Uh, you know, when it when it did clip off the tape, it's hard to recognize it at that point, but a little just short little punch, you probably could have gotten away with it. Spent a lot of the day dinking cross court and mix. She had a ton of those with Rachel Rohrabacher earlier and a tough loss she had with the Hayden Patrick win earlier today. Nice shot from Jackie Kawamoto right through the middle. And Dave, I don't know how you feel. When you get in those dink battles and the dink rallies cross court, it, it's as much of a mental battle as it is a physical oh, battle. Oh, for sure. Can, can I outlast you? Can I go one more? Can I go two more, three more? Wow, what a move from Lacey on the way. Absolutely, and you're like, if I think I can win this, do I have the discipline to stay in it, or do I just feel like I have to speed something up here? Right. I always feel like I have to speed up. <laughs> <laughs> Look out. Yeah. Just... Lacey has that interesting sort of talking a little more strategy, but hopefully these two teams are new partnerships. Like you said, I'm sure they're trying to fine tune some of the little things on on the court that they've seen so far. Oh, Rocky like a hurricane with the scorpion there, Paris Todd, but does not get it down. You saw just that little paddle movement. She knows that she had it, but just did not get it into the feet. You're just trying to survive sometimes when you're up there. Oh, no. And Jackie Kawamoto has one of the best top spin lobs in the game. You saw it there. And Lacey was just a little slow to react to that. She did everything right, needed to make the commitment to the cross half a second earlier.
Good slide in hands from Paris Todd. The other thing we have going on here is a couple of New York Hustler teammates on opposite sides, Leia Jansen and Jackie Kawamoto in Major League Pickleball, which will be in New York City next week. I was just in New York last week, and they were starting to set up the venue in Central Park. It should be a pretty yeah. neat uh, MLP experience. around there and just misses the post and gets it and I don't think Paris could it was so close to the post like you're saying I don't think Paris got a, a great view of the ball coming around the side post great spot from Paris just the right amount of pace How do you feel about the John Isner like approach to serving as Lacey takes it through her legs before she serves like the big man did? I like it. We don't, you just got to find your, your pattern or your routine. Jackie Kawamoto in complete command of that rally. And again, it was on that. It's just, it's the finishing shot. Sometimes those are our better shots. Just pop it right through the middle. cylinders at the moment so two points from claiming game one beautiful one-handed flick from Lacey and we have a game point Ditto what I just said a second ago, but just changed Lacey to Leia. <laughs> exactly. It's good use. One hand rolls it nicely One through the one. middle. Wow, paddle clank, but it worked out. Yeah. One of the first misses I've seen from Lacey Schneem in this set, this game, excuse me. We're making a lot of tennis comparisons <laughs> yes, here in the last 30 fault. minutes. <laughs> oh, just beautiful from Jackie. I love middle dinks against new teams to see if they can get that sorted out or not. Right, it's such a good play. Just do it over and over again and make them communicate just ball after ball after ball and see how it goes. Wow, so pretty. Jackie Kawamoto twice right down the line. Game point number two for the eight seed. She's got one of the best back yes. backhands from the baseline and backhand swinging volleys at the net on the woman's side. Oh. 
Wow, just full send. She heard you. Does she have an earpiece? <laughs> that might have that might have hit the PPA side oh, of the back. There's no fence. doubt. <laughs> well, she's like, yeah, I could have let that one go. She's just trying to protect herself at that point. Different times there was a horrendous drop shot in there from Jackie, but they got out of it. Yeah, ultimately, it was, it was too much. Okay. Jackie gets away with bad drop shot in the middle, but redeems herself. And absolutely nothing going on there, and Leia yells in frustration. Fourth game point. do it so an impressive game one performance for jackie kawamoto and lacy schneeman guaranteed pickleball play every week no hassle no paddle stacking lines no worries join the pickleball league today and up your game with competitive consistent well-matched play connect with your local leagues check live rankings on your phone and play with ease whether you're there to socialize with your community network across the net or have fun playing your favorite sport Leagues are a stress-free way to enjoy your play. Find your closest league at pickleball.com and click leagues today to get started. You know, new team, like we said, and, and her and Paris, hopefully they can sit on the bench there. I'm sure they got a little more coaching from Hunter yes. Johnson, and we'll see if we see some adjustments from them at the start of game two. No way, Lacey. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Instead of laying it in the kitchen, she's coming in hot. I love the thought process, though. I think we we're all assuming the dink was coming. She had so many incredible gets early on. Her eyes got too big yes. on that one. What a point to start game two. Just wide for Jackie. She tried to kind of get on the outside of that ball and curve it in. So a good start for Lay and Paris here to get the first two. She goes through her centering routine. It went away for a while. It's back. defense again from Schneeman. I feel like we're seeing a scorpion every third point yeah. right now. That's when folks bring the paddle up in front of there just to protect the body and you gotta don't miss leg day if you want to hit a scorpion Sam. That's right. Jackie still works for the NCAA. Lacey used to put satellites in space until she went full-time pickup. That's one smart Lacey's lady. one of the most interesting oh, women I've ever come yes. across. Like, it sounds like I'm just pulling ideas out of a hat here. It's all true. And she's a twin. There you go. job there of not letting balls bounce in the kitchen yeah. she's using her length didn't come out on top of that point but yeah even saw her take the left hand off on one of those and hit a one -y. and we're seeing more of the female players start to do that I think we see it on the men's side quite often but these girls are adding it to the game oh no 
And Jackie had been fading so far over to the sideline and then a last second desperate you but new teammates. Right there was a there's a, a six inch window where neither of them were going to make a play on that. And that's exactly where that ball found itself. Well, we have bumper cars on the other side, but they survive it. And a gorgeous ATP and gets the paddle clap from Lacey and a much different, more aggressive Paris and Leia. They're up 4 nothing. Absolutely. That ATP didn't look like it was there. She did. A, she saw something we didn't and executed it to perfection. We definitely need to have drop shot practice, but it worked out. <laughs> it did work out. Great get by Paris, but Lacey ready for that next one and fires one back at Paris and finally puts it away. Is it intentional? I it mean, great? what in the world? It's not when you're returning. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, it's <that's laughs> got to be an accident. Beautifully constructed point and Lacey and Jackie even switched sides there trying to hit the scoreboard and couldn't get it done. If you're gonna miss that, you know, miss it if while you're up 4-0. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was four squares from the bottom of the net. Exactly right. She's got to block that one out of the out of the mind immediately. Two. Still looking for that first point. And Jackie said, I got it, and even boxed Lacey out <laughs> in the middle of that. I'll just I'll just do it alone. Wow, and for a team that had no mo mo mojo working now, very nice run of three. A couple good aggressive plays, one from Jackie, then one from Lacey. Just kisses off the tape, but uh, yep, and there's there's more prize money on the line now, yeah. more points, and you're playing in bigger stages. So if you want to excel in those moments, you've got to practice. Yeah, I mean we're going to be on national CBS on Saturday. I mean that's phenomenal, and sponsors, agents, everybody is watching. Well, Brands, you don't, you don't look like a there. fool. No. So if you if and you want to be the one, court. yeah, you want to be the one that we want to put on that match. What a pretty shot from Lacey. 
And what vision to see yes. that opening through the middle. So slow start for these two, but they're warming up quickly and have the ball within one. And we are tied. And you see this with new teams a lot. There's no center fielder. No. And we're seeing the success with Jackie and Lacey right now. They're just going after it. They're not resetting. Ball's in the middle of the court. They're, they're swinging for the fences right now and having success with it. And they'll take every freebie available on the miss serve return there. Good spot from yes. Tom and Matt. What a drop. And I think Paris can feel Lacey sprinting in, that athlete in her. She made a little squeak of the core with her feet. That could throw you off just enough. Wow, a whole bunch of balls off the tape, but Lacey stays with it and then hits one off her own off the tape for a winner. Right. Kalmoto and Schneeman are speeding up every ball when they get the chance right now, and it's... It is working it's effective. in a big way. Within four of a quarterfinal berth and playing tomorrow. Love that play from Paris. If someone wants to keep resetting, fire at him. Right. I think Lacey, I, I couldn't see it there, but I think she smiled. I feel like she almost said to herself, let's fire that back instead of reset. Oh, what a pretty overhead there from Leia Jansen. Much needed, a positive energy over on that other side. Yeah, and that lob wasn't the best lob we've <laughs> seen in this game. But yes, a much needed point for Todd and Jansen. Just phenomenal from Lacey. I love watching her play. I, I know I'm not supposed to be biased, but she's one of my favorite players to watch. The hand speed, the strength, the mobility around the court. It's, it's pretty fun to watch. And now, welcome to the announcer jinx there, Sam. We've all done it. Yes, I definitely have. That lead is but one, and you do not want to go three with Todd and Jansen as they continue to find out how they work as a duo. Lacey Schneeman on a mission on the right side of the court.
Unbelievable. Maybe the longest point of the match. And if you're a pickleball purist, you love what you yes. just saw right there. Yes, yeah, stinking with a purpose everywhere there, Sam. Perfect, but they track it down. And then what an angle from Jackie. My goodness, two rallies in a row of the highest quality. We just saw 100 back to back rallies, 50, 50 shot rallies, it felt like each. And that one, we had a great finish there with the lob yeah. put away with the overhead. That's what you do, you gotta angle it out. And Jackie gave herself plenty of margin, too. Spin cross court dink can turn into though because that spin will take it wide. Paris takes advantage. They're within two. Just relentless pressure. Right, and we see with the with women's doubles, sometimes it does take an extra ball or two to put away, which is fun. It's great yes. for the viewer. It's fun to watch that word in there. We took five shots before we got a winner, but great point from all four ladies. Oh, Paris starts in. Jackie's ready, and we are at match point. short and that will do it and what an impressive win for Jackie Kawamoto and Lacey Schneeman. How do you prepare for a match like that? What were the strategies? I can see you smirking. Were there any strategies going in uh, to face that team? I mean, all of us play each other in different uh, matchups kind of all the time. I, I'm, uh, the smirk was because it's actually our first time playing together as well. I know you, uh, you've seen a Kawamoto next to my name several times, but it's actually not this one. I've, I've often played with Jade, and uh, I, I don't know if you could hear it live, but I did at the very beginning of the match accidentally say, yeah, Jade. <laughs> <laughs> I had to correct myself to yeah, yeah, yeah Jackie, but um, I might have rattled her a little bit. But, you know, I, I love playing with either of the Kawamotos. Um, and, and as far as like playing a new partnership, I mean, like I said, we, we play each other in different orientations all the time. So we kind of know everyone's strengths and weaknesses. And sure, that like changes when you play a different matchup, um, different pair, uh, and depending on what side they're on as well. But uh, we, there were a few things we talked about. Um, I won't give it all away. Oh, wow. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'm kidding. with the cow motos, it's kind of just, just, just chemistry and uh, we're, tr we're trying to make it work. I'll ask Jackie to give it all away then. So I saw you guys going, <laughs> stacking sometimes, playing straight up. Was there a strategy involved in that or was it just comfortability throughout the match? Uh, I think it was just comfortability throughout the match. Um, we're both uh, pretty comfortable on both sides. So we just, uh, you know, first time really playing a great team. So we just tried to figure out what was working, what was not. And I think it kind of messed up the rhythm of the match a little bit for better or worse, um, but we were able to pull it out. <laughs> Lacey, you had a great run in Vegas. You had a big upset today with Tyson McGuff in a mix during the quarters there as well. Is there something about the indoor environment that helps your game a little bit more? Um, 
Um, I don't know. I actually uh, prefer to play outside, so I, I wouldn't say that. But um, I don't know. I, I do like the, the still conditions, and it, it's pretty fast in here. So um, I like to serve big and drive big. Uh, and that's that's been working for me indoors, I'd say. And I uh, also love, love to use a lob. I don't think I used any lobs today, but uh, something to keep in the pocket.